Yo guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. In today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video, I wanted to show you guys a brand new deck profile that I've been working on. In today's deck profile, I'm going to be showing you guys Fluanderese in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Now if you don't know already, Fluanderese is one of the strongest, yet one of the most annoying deck profiles in the entire game. If you are a Fluanderese player, 9 out of 10 times, people don't like you. However, you can't deny that Fluanderese is one of the strongest decks in today's meta and the strongest deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel as it requires none of the extra deck. All it is is tribute summoning different wing beast monsters and different wind monsters as you can put on big monsters such as Fluanderi's M-Pen, Rise of the Mega Monarch and Wind Barrier Statue of the Storms to lock your opponent out of playing the entire game. There isn't many things this deck loses to and with the new TCG support maybe that will just change. However, as of now, Fluanderese is still one of the strongest, if not the strongest deck in the entire game. So without further ado, let's get right into today's deck profile. In today's deck list, we play two Fluanderese and Mpen, one Rise of the Mega Monarch, one Mist Valley Apex Avian, three Dimension Shifter, one Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds, three Ash, three Eglin, one Stry, 3 Rabina, 1 Toucan, 1 Fluanderese and the Unexplored Winds, 3 Fluanderese and the Magnificent Map, 3 Pot of Duality, 2 Pot of Extravagance, 1 Pot of Prosperity, 1 Terraforming, 2 Called by the Grave, 1 Cross Out Designator, 1 Forbidden Droplet, 3 Evenly, 1 Fluanderese and the Dreaming Town, 3 Infinite Impermanence. In fact, I'd argue that you could probably cut 1 Impermanence, but the reason I don't do that is because you have so many cards to help dig you for your combos and there's only like one or two cards starting combos so the rest of your hand is kind of for you to play around with hence why we run so many different hand traps moving on to the extra deck we play one divine arsenal aezu sky thunder one downward magician two slacker magician two king gashaki fucho i still don't know how to say that name properly one lyralusk assembled nightingale one underworld goddess of the closed world one access code talker one Nightmare Unicorn, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Irea, the Water Charmer, two Relinquished Anima, and one Salamangre Almirage. That's it for the extra deck as well. I do want to say though that your mainly all your XCs monsters are just used to get into your Divine Arsenal Aezu Sky Thunder, and you don't really use your extra deck because your main deck is so strong anyway. That's it. If you just came here for the deck profile, make sure you guys click off now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy and bye. But for those of you who want to stay here and go through some of the card effects, I thank you all for staying so much for watching. And yeah, let's go through some of the card effects. So as we all know, Dimension Shifter is the strongest hand trap, like one of the strongest hand traps ever. In a meta where the graveyard is so key, Dimension Shifter shutting down that graveyard completely is a very, very strong card effect. And he synergizes with this deck so well because our cards do not get sent to the graveyard. Our cards bounce back into our hands and they add more into our hands. They're like plus, keep plus oneing. We do have our Rise of the Mega Monarch, which as you know, you can tribute summon this monster using one tribute summon monster. But that don't even matter because we could literally just tribute summon the monster. As we all know, cards like Robina, Eglin, Stree, these cards, they all give you extra tribute summons, so they allow you to bring out these big monsters without special summoning them. Mist Valley Apex Avian is basically just a free negate. There is a way to loop this negate. If you guys want to go ahead and go watch MBT's video on it, um, just search up MBT. Everyone knows him, I'm sure. Uh, and yeah, he'll show you how to loop this, so you basically just like win because you have infinite negates at that point but yeah we play one cross out designator because obviously this is the Yu-Gi-Oh master duel version and cross out designator is limited to one however if you were to play this in the tcg you can put your cross out designator even more 
there are obviously stronger cards like small world but the thing is i don't find small world that useful in this deck because we can play pot of duality we can play pot of extravagance we can play pot of prosperity there is no need we have our terraforming to search our map because as we know i'm pretty sure our map will let us normal summon on our opponent's turn which is very key for this deck i evenly matched as a very strong card uh, going second we just blow our entire opponent's board which is a very very strong effect and then we can do all of our combos in the main phase too our ash blossom generic hand trap you can be switched out for anything same with the call by the grave obviously we are on two but you could lower it down to one and then your third infinite impermanence would just stay there we play the one forbidden droplet because as you all know it's part of the 750 gem pack for free but free feel free to switch that off anything else we play the one dreaming town some people played set two but like why there's no need just keep it at one your kinky shaki whatever name yeah uh, is unaffected by other card effects and you can detach two materials this card cannot be destroyed by a battle so if you were hypothetically going to battle over a monster activate its effect uh, you get your one material zeus but that's where downward magician comes into play you put down a magician on top and you get two material zeus which is pretty good assemble nightingale you could hypothetically get four material zeus which would give you two of the zeus's effects because you can attack directly with her and your slacker magician well pretty simple and it's just the two material zeus for free without having to use the downward magician <coughs> moving on to our link options uh, link options should be pretty straightforward. They're just like your most generic uh, link options. Uh, it's just something to help fill up the extra deck for Pot of Extravagance and Pot of P. And they could come up. Most likely won't though. I feel like you should probably run like a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon or a High Attack Monster just in case. I don't know, some weird wacky card effects ever come up. Okay guys, that's going to be it for today's deck profile. If you haven't already, make sure you guys go ahead and click that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below what other videos or deck profiles you want to see in the future. I might be making a new Yu-Gi-Oh series where I try and test out uh, if some of the old Yu-Gi-Oh characters and players' decks would work in today's meta if we were to kind of fluctuate it and put in different staple cards and we'll see how it works but let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in i'll see you all in the next video make sure you guys take it easy and bye